Now, the Imo State Governor Hope Uzadinma says the Igbo nation is not at war with any part of the country as it is being portrayed in social media following the activities of the Eastern Security Network in Olu area of the state. Governor Uzadinma says some desperate politicians are in instigating IPOB and ESN against the people so that the federal government will think another Biafra war has started from the state. It will interest you to know that these militants who terrorize our for weeks, most of them are not Igbos. The evidence they might when some of them were arrested. They've made useful confessions and we now know that they were imported from outside the Southeast to come and turn Igbo state into a theater of war under the guise of IPOM or Eastern Security Network. Though some of them are working with IPOM members, but their real mission has nothing to do with supposedly what IPOM said is their mission. On the probe on former Governor Rochas Okorocha, Hope Zodinma said his government will see to ensure holistic probe of Okorocha's administration. He commanded security agent for stopping the former governor from unselling the Royal Spring apartment after it was sealed by the government on the recommendations of the judicial panel of inquiry set up by former governor Emeka Inhedioha. Uh, these commissions were set up in response to the hearings of our people. The people saw in black and white that in eight years of administration of Rochas of Korocha, there was no due process in governance. Contracts. Contracts were awarded without the recourse to due process. Lands belonging to both government and private citizens were forcefully acquired by them and given to themselves and their cronies. The Oware Master Plan, jealously preserved for years by previous administrations, was rec recklessly and fragmentally abused by the Polish administration. In resume, that era was rightly seen by many as the dark years in the history of governance in Imo State. Characterized by lawlessness, abuse of office, ill informed audacious attempt to supplant democracy with aristocracy. Against this background, the statement then, as it remains now, is that there must be a holistic probe of the administration of Richard of Corruption. At the end of the meeting, a resolution was passed by the stakeholders and adopted by the governor to recover raw stolen properties from individuals or organizations. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.